السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته wherever you are wherever you are today's lesson is how to be kind considerate careful when you meet the needy people last year I was visiting Mozambique after the Edal tornado which uh, the tornado uh, hit badly Mozambique Zimbabwe and Malawi and I was with Imdad Foundation and we were visiting the small towns which have been hit badly by the heavy rain amongst which was Biera, Buzi and Guara Guara and the last two small towns were about 140-150 km from Biera it took us about four, three to four hours because the road was not very good went to the city or the town of Buzi and it was very badly hit by the tornado and the level of water was in this, in this city more than two and a half meters for at least five years uh, five, five, day, uh, five days because it was raining heavily and the ocean was uh, very rough and even the rivers were actually flooding to them and people stayed for five days under this heavy rain and even at least 500 people went up to the roof of one of the local mosques in the city for at least five days to save themselves and their children and their family from being drowned in the rain and they were up on the roof for five days no food no water no prayer no sleep then he went to visit uh, an yeah, uh, old man called uh, uh, Uncle Adam. He was blind or partially blind because of the cataract on his eyes. And also he lost his uh, house. And we promised to do something for him. Then he went from this into a place called Guara Guara, which is still having uh, internally displaced people camp organized by UNSR, United Nations High Commission for Refugees Organization. And went to the local mosque to pray, which was in front of a house. This house belongs to a woman, and she used to give the space for people to park their car in the front yard of the house, especially in, uh, uh, in that foundation cars. And we did not find the house, it was destroyed, demolished, and everything was empty space. And she was sitting underneath at, at the shade of the tree, and this tree was supposed to be in the good old days, shading the roof of her house from the heat of the sun there. And I realized that the woman was sitting, waiting for us to come out. She was looking desperately without her eyes blinking. And she would draw a smile, a sad smile on her face and another expression of hope on her cheek begging us to speak to her. But we took our car and we uh, left the town without speaking to her. And during the drive, one of my colleagues told me about the story of the woman and what happened to the house and I could not be able to forget this painful painful expression on her face which is a mixing of feeling hope sorrow pain joy sadness and appealing to us but she is accepting and surrendering what happened to her from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. I didn't ask the car to stop and go back to talk to her. And in my own view, this is a crime. Crime. Crime that I committed against my humanitarian principles. I should have stopped responding to the feeling, the boiling feeling in her heart which is coming out of the deep wound of the shock that she have. 
and I felt this pain coming from the deep wound in the heart when we arrived without actually stopping to say, how are you? And I was in between two worlds. We have to arrive before sunset because of the iftari, because it was Ramadan. And our Asian brothers love to break the fasting exactly at the same time. Not like us Arabs can break the fast half an hour or an hour later on. And to stop to delay the journey. Unfortunately, 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 we didn't. And I felt that I'm a criminal of not sitting for five or ten minutes to listen to him. Listen, learn. Take the time, listen to the people, be considerate and respect their feeling. Because those people look at you as you are a glimpse of horror. Look at you as you are trying here, you might be able to change the style of their life. From sorrow and hardship into an ease. And treating the deep wound in their hearts and taking them from the humiliation into dignity. Not responding to this feeling is an insult. Not an insult to the woman, but an insult to me and to the material worker with me. We are insulting ourselves because we are not responding to the people who are paying our salaries. But Alhamdulillah, the good news is that I managed to raise some fund and share it with that foundation to rebuild her house. Alhamdulillah, and now it's better than it was before. Jazakumullah khair, wassalamu alaikum.